it means a lot that it's uh, voted for by the, the, my fellow players, you know, the guys I play with week in, week out. Awards like that are always very special. You know, I feel like they know what, as a player, you have to go through better than anybody because they do it week in, week out. I played a lot of good golf under pressure when I needed to. The tournament win at the start of the year and then to have a chance and play so well in the final event of the year. I was really pleased with uh, with those two tournaments especially, but I was consistent all through the year. Uh, obviously, it was very difficult for everybody with the pandemic and COVID and a lot of different things to get used to. No crowds and all the testing procedures and things like that. So uh, very special to win the award and uh, it's been a great couple of years really. Well, I don't think it's any surprise that he won the Players Award. You know, he's 48 years old. He's an icon, former world number one, won the uh, the race to Dubai, and uh, everybody loves Lee. I've been on tour for 26 years. I know Lee, a couple of years before me, made his way onto the European tour. And, uh, you know, he's just been top quality all the way through. Get in. Unbelievable. Obviously not the first time he's, he's won the Order of Merit. You know, last year was, of course, a strange year, and it, it always seems fitting that whenever something slightly different comes along, uh, Lee Westwood's there to remind us that things are normal. I'm personally very happy that uh, he's the winner of the award. He's playing some uh, great golf. I think he, he's physically really, really good, and uh, last year he played really well. I think Lee lately has um, said in some interviews that he's like uh, changed his mind uh, on the course, like uh, trying to enjoy more. And uh, yeah, usually when, when you try to, to enjoy not only in golf, but in life and in, in other things, things uh, go well. No? And uh, that's how Lee Westwood has been playing for the last uh, three, four years. I've been lucky to to meet him and uh, he's also a great guy of the course, so I said, uh, very, very happy. Well, he's a true champion like Seve and uh, uh, he certainly has an unwavering will to uh, succeed and he's, he's, he's proven that over and over again. So uh, I think he's a, a tremendous winner and uh, would represent uh, Seve very well. Seve was an icon of the game, still is. I started playing golf, you know, I was looking at the Europeans and, and Seve's name was at the top of that list. He was uh, somebody to aspire to. Good shot, eh? <laughs> the first tournaments I ever went to watch, professional tournaments, were Ryder Cups in 89 and 93. Seve's name's synonymous with the Ryder in, Cup. Right in the middle, beautiful. <laughs> I remember standing by the 10th tee when he teed off there at the Belfry. You know, looking at these guys like Seve and Nick Faldo, and Colin Montgomery and Ian Woosner, you know, wanting to be like them. And then, 97, I'm, I'm in a team captained by Seve Ballesteros. From England, Lee Westwood. I'm partnering Nick Faldo and having practice rounds with Bernard Langer and Colin Montgomery and people like that. So it was a very short gap between, you know, looking at and, and watching and learning from the heroes to actually being amongst them. And, trying to win points in the Ryder Cup for them. There was a story where I was stood on the 17th fairway uh, at Valderrama in the Ryder Cup. And I turned round and Monty was there, uh, Bernard Langer, uh, Nick Faldo, and Seve Ballesteros was sat in his buggy in the middle of the fairway watching us. So, you know, that for me was, um, you know, one of those pinch yourself moments where it was like, is, is this really happening to me? And, Debbie was obviously a very, very big part of that and, uh, you know, inspirational in the team room and just a, a phenomenal presence and, and a very calming presence. I mean, Sebi, um, you know, everything he did for European golf and the way he did it, um, he should be cherished and remembered. Sebi was one of the people that, um, it, you know, inspired me to take the game up. You know, we had the, not just Sebi, but you know, Bernard Lang, obviously, was he proud of that era, really. But Sebi was the, you know, he was the charismatic one, wasn't he? The first Open Championship I went to see, my father took me to, uh, was at Lytham West, where Sebi won. I saw him in person 
And I saw him practice down at St. Pierre with a couple of friends from Swindon. There was 10 of us watching Sebi warm up at St. Pierre, which was just literally 10 of us. It was a, that was amazing. And you know, the, the charisma of, of the man was, was just incredible. But he played with this flamboyant style, didn't he? He was great with the crowds. Um, he could scare the crowds. He was an intimidating presence, Sebi, but uh, while also people, you know, you wanted to be around him. Stay still if you don't mind this. I know you're nervous, but I'm too. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seemed to love Sebi as well, the Brits, you know, wherever you were from. Maybe, maybe not the American uh, public at times, because he was so good in those Ryder Cups. But he really was Mr. Golf, and he was, he, he was just amazing. We're very fortunate that he was so passionate about the European Tour and wanting to, to, to grow the game over here. He was pivotal in that for our tour, no doubt about that. You know, when people, people talk about Seve, it's a reverence that is uh, incredible and uh, is something that we're incredibly proud of. And we, uh, we cherish his memories and his unbelievable skill uh, in all facets of the game, both on and off the course. For me, you know, Seve is, uh, is somebody that I never had the privilege of meeting, but almost every single day uh, during the last five years as my role here as the CEO of the European Tour, somebody has told me a Seve story. And uh, uh, they're always great, they always make you laugh, or they always make you just appreciate his unbelievable talents. And uh, if there's one regret, it was the chance that I never had to meet him or watch him play live. Twitter, I get uh, messages from fans that uh, saying that his son is uh, called Sevi, and uh, I mean that's that's pretty impressive. It, it's happened to me, I'll say, between five and ten times, and it's still impressive every time it happens. I'm fortunate enough to play with with, with Sevi, and fortunate enough to play with Lee against Sevi and Jose Maria a couple of times as well, which is two of the, the highlights of my 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 career on, on tour. That was just the thrill of all thrills to play against those two great Spaniards uh, alongside Lee. While Sevi was a world star and a, and a worldwide player and a major winner, obviously he was one of the biggest stars in the game. You always felt at heart that Sevi. You know, his heart was with the European Tour. Um, that came out in his Ryder Cup um, heroics, and it was that us against them mentality. You just knew that Seve cared deeply about the growth of the European Tour. And similarly with Lee, whilst he's been at the top of the tree for, for, for many, many years, of course he has played on, on, on the PJ Tour um, over the years and, and taken up membership at times. You, you just know that with Lee, again, his heart is really, really with our tour wherever possible. He's always supported the European Tour. And yeah, I say he's been one of the, the, the biggest names now for over two decades, hasn't he? And it's uh, it, it's great to see someone like that so loyal to our tour, um, uh, you know, coming up trumps again last year. It was terrible, you know, what happened to Seve, and uh, it all happened very quickly. And I suppose I'm one of the fortunate ones still playing on the European tour that got to play with him and be around him quite a lot and learn from him. And yeah, to ever be compared to Seve is. Uh, Humbling, really. You know, I, I, I went past his Ryder Cup total in, uh, in Glen Eagles a few years back, and you know, it really choked me up, up at the time because he was somebody I looked up to and uh, you know wanted to emulate and be like. So to win an award with his name on it is uh, is, is very special. You know, it, you know, his presence is still felt on the European tour. Um, I just hope I can, you know, uh, represent the award. Um, this year in in the manner that it should be represented, you know, when it's attached to such a great name as Seve's. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.